Even though Tapping Reeve was one of the first chief justices of the Connecticut Supreme Court and brother-in-law to Aaron Burr, he's best known for his role as an innovator in legal education. In 1784, Reeve founded the Litchfield Law School, the first American school to offer a comprehensive legal curriculum. By the time the Litchfield Law School closed in 1833, nearly a thousand students had passed through its doors. The Tapping Reeve Legal Educator Award was created to recognize those who have demonstrated a sustained commitment and made significant contributions to the cause of legal education. This award honors members of the faculty, including clinical and adjunct instructors, of the University of Connecticut, Quinnipiac, Yale, and Western New England University Schools of Law. During the multi-step selection process, the awards committee used three main selection criteria, teaching, scholarship, and commitment to the Connecticut legal community. Even in this highly impressive field of legal educators, Professor and Associate Dean Suda Seti of Western New England University School of Law stood out as exceptional, as a scholar, a teacher, an active member of the Connecticut legal community. Her scholarly work on national security law is regularly quoted in the national and local media, and as Associate Dean for Faculty Development and Intellectual Life, she works to promote and encourage the scholarships of fellow faculty members as well. Beyond her role as law professor, she is active in the CBA and the South Asian Bar Association of Connecticut. She has worked with the CBA to address issues regarding gender equity in the legal profession, and in her many leadership roles in the South Asian Bar Association, she has been very active in public interest and community service initiatives and continues to serve on its scholarship committee. In sum, she is the total package. Professor Seti creates a professional and consistent atmosphere in the classroom that allows her students to dive into the legal material, even that UCC Battle of the Forms provision. She also finds ways to make the legal doctrines come to life by creating unique simulation exercises in the classroom. I don't believe any of her first year students would have guessed beforehand that they'd be negotiating whether a burrito is a sandwich under interpreting some contract language. But Professor Seti's commitment to education is equally shown by the work she does outside of the classroom, whether it is her endless office hours or her willingness to read and critique on drafts of academic journal entries, even those beyond her normal scholarly work, or her work to create unique teaching opportunities for her students. All of her students are better equipped to be lawyers because of her. She shaped much of who I am as a lawyer, and I, like so many of my classmates, are better equipped to appreciate both individual legal doctrines, but also how they fall within the broader legal, economic, and social landscape. Congratulations, Professor Seti. I'm Eric Uven. I'm the dean at Western New England University School of Law. And I offer my sincere congratulations to Suda on receiving this impressive award from the Connecticut Bar Association. Suda is every dean's dream. She's a great teacher. She's won Professor of the Year, elected by her students to that honor, uh, as testament to her passion and her knowledge and her ability to get students to think thoroughly and critically about the law. Her scholarship has incredible impact in national security issues. And her service to the law school, to the profession, to the university has been exemplary. We put her on the most difficult committees when we know we need to have the job done right. She's a great colleague, a great parent, and a hidden fact that you might not know about her, she is a walking encyclopedia of James Bond films. So if you have a chance to talk to her at the reception, please quiz her on that. So that we're very proud of you, and we're glad you got this well-deserved award from the Connecticut Bar Association.